In 5G, 3GPP released 15 set a solid foundation for the 5G technologies. And these technologies continue to evolve even in release 16 and beyond. One of the key challenges that we actually see when we're trying to deploy enhanced 5G uh, network coverage is the deployment cost. And this is due to the fact that we require denser networks with millimeter wave just due to the millimeter wave propagation characteristics. In 3GPP release 16, there is a feature that was introduced that to address this issue. And that feature is the integrated access and backhaul feature, the IAB. When we introduce an IAB node into the network, what it does is it allows the GNODB to offer both access as well as, as uh, backhaul uh, connections to the UE. And therefore, we don't need to deploy uh, fiber, additional fiber networks which could be um, costly in this case. And here, we have an LTE one-to-one co-siting with a millimeter wave site, and therefore, we have seven GNODE, uh, GNODE Bs in our network. Um, we can see here the baseline network throughput, as well as the downlink um, signal quality of the user. One thing we show as we introduce various um, deployments of our IB penetration cases, both the low as well as the high, we could see actually improvements in our network throughput as well as the downlink signal quality, which actually causes improved um, user experience for the user. There's also improvement in the coverage, as you would expect. So for example, when we don't have IAB, we have limited coverage. And now when we introduce either the low penetration case or the high penetration case, you can actually see the improvement actually in the coverage in the network. Another network capability coming in release 16 is called the multiple transmission and reception point, the multi-TRP. This feature allows a mobile device to connect to multiple GNODE Bs at the same time. This brings improved robustness and performance in the network, both to the network and to the user. To show the, the, the performance of um, this release 16 feature, let's look to our deployment scenario again. And in this case, we have 96 GNODE B in our network. Um, you can see here the network throughput that we, the baseline that we have when we have the single TRP with no blocking scenario. And you can also see the average downlink signal uh, quality. Now, when we introduce blocking into the system, which means that our millimeter wave links become unreliable in those cases, you can see the degradation that we actually see in the network throughput and also in the downlink signal quality. Now, when we introduce multi-TRP, what you would see is that we have actually um, an improvement in the network throughput and the downlink signal quality, which means that the impact of the blocking has been mitigated by this multi-TRP feature. The previous demo dealt with the network side, now let's move to the device side. On the device side, there is a key KPI that we consider, and that's the battery life. And in release 15, a feature was introduced called the Connected Mode Discontinuous Reception, CDRX. That feature, what it does is the UE powers down its receiver periodically, and wakes up every CDRX cycle to monitor to see if there is a transmission from the network for the user. Now in release 16, further enhancement to that were even introduced um, called the wake up signal, the WOOS. And in the WOOS, the UE monitors a dedicated control channel to see if there is a wake up signal. If it detects that signal, then the UE really powers up in that CDRX cycle to monitor transmission from the network. Even in addition to that, we have what is called the enhanced um, carrier aggregation feature, which has to do with secondary cell activation and deactivation. For this particular feature, the primary cell is the one actually controlling the activation of the secondary cell to see if they're needed or not. To show this in our demo, uh, let's go back to this Frankfurt, Germany deployment here. And as a baseline, we use the CDRX power saving as the baseline. When we go ahead and introduce the wake up signal feature into our mobile devices, what we see is actually a 47% improvement in power savings. Now, if on top of that, if we even enable the enhanced CA uh, feature, we even go up to 53% improvement in power savings experienced by the UE.